a 22-year-old factory worker from here in Nottingham last week. The power was 7-5 to Gary Anderson. That was his fourth defeat of this campaign. He needs a win. Desperately needs a win. And he's up against one of the heaviest scorers in the game, Dave Chisnell, Rod Studd and Wayne Martin, your commentators. Thanks, Dave. League position, ninth. We don't normally say that, do we? But it could get worse for Phil Taylor if he loses this match be three points adrift in the relegation zone yes it's now become thinkable the man who has won everything who's dominated the world of darts for the last 25 years all good things come to an end but is it the end is there a mindset that refuses to be beaten and let's be honest is the great man of darts playing good or bad we cannot stop well, stop talking about him. He's special. But will this man oh, maybe put him into Thank more gentlemen. despair? First leg, it's will Chizzy register another one? Well, it has been one of the strangest sporting years on record. Teams and players we thought were invincible have been proved to be mere mortals. England cricket team obliterated Australia. Manchester United produced to also runs and the biggest certainty of them all. Phil Taylor, 116. beaten four times in five matches in this, beaten six times in his last seven televised games. We expect to see him at the top of that pile. We actually see the name Taylor at the bottom. As you rightly said, Wayne, if he gets beat tonight, he'll be three points adrift of the safety line. Incredible. The last time these two met was in the Grand Prix final. Yeah. Taylor was his usual self. Playing brilliantly, winning titles. Beat Chizzy 6 0 on that occasion. That has to be preying on Chisnell's mind. Dave has to make a good start. Otherwise, we could see something similar if Taylor has the mental capacity to finish him off. The way that game was one of a 29 match winning streak, televised match winning streak from Phil Taylor from the summer right through until the late autumn. He then lost in the Players' Championship final to Michael Angul. And if you just said then, after 29 straight wins, that he would lose six of his next seven televised games, no one would have believed it. And yet that's what's happened. Dominating this leg. Well, this has been his problem. This has been Phil Taylor's problem since the start of this Premier League too many darts into the five bed that's four in this leg alone got to put it right when he beat simon whitlock he was talking to dave clark and he said i will put it right got to say that precise one i believe phil taylor one of four left just need to muck about with 54 50. We'll shoot him down to the ground or well, chisnell has barely got started and Taylor is ready to finish and uh, you made the point on stage with Dave Clark Wayne that Phil Taylor if he did go behind the nerves may creep in it's his chance to go in front early doors Number 16. Well, there you see getting further away Number 16 still Let's go. Game one, to say this would be a spiteful finish would be an understatement. It would also be extremely unlikely given the way Chisnell's thrown the darts in the first 98. 15 Three attempts one, at the board. That's taken him to 18. He's still not on a finish. Taylor wants 32. Fiddling around here on the finish. He gets the job done at the fifth time of asking. He will feel so much better. Goodness knows how he would have felt had he missed again and Chisnell gone out. He will feel better than the fact that he's won the leg, but it wasn't with much conviction. Six. Dave just cannot seem to find anything at the moment. Well, we've talked an infinitum almost about Phil Taylor's problems, but let's not forget that the yellow peril is in peril himself. He's only on 100. four points. He's, he's one place above Phil Taylor and, uh, and then Simon Whitlock's at the bottom, so Chisnell's got his own problems. Dave has been playing some decent darts. Like that. 
better than decent. That's fantastic. But just cannot seem to get the wins on the board. 24 maximums. He leads the way in that statistical field. Dave Chisnell. And this is uh, 97. PDL. Double Phil Taylor's. He's in again. He's in again. Number 25 of the Premier League. He just knew that was going to go. Well, in that uh, Grand Prix final you mentioned, Wayne, Phil Taylor won the first 15 legs of that match. Incredibly. And uh, in those 15 legs, Dave Chisnell did not have one shot at the outer ring one. of the board for a finish. Had one go at ball. He should get a go here. Mind you. Goodness me. Well, that is a dictionary one. definition of a hash. Big score here. Dave might panic. Will the yellow peril panic? Oh, disappointed. This is a big visit. Want to clean this up with no dramas whatsoever. Probably 10 now. Gets it. Well, Phil Taylor in the UK Open reached 86.53. That's his lowest average since October 2006 in the game against Wes Newton. That he won 2 0, but that was double start. He's now averaging 86, sorry, 85.54. So the dismal performance in the UK Open is just continuing. When he said he was going to put right, he hasn't. It needs to happen now. Seven years ago, and he last averaged kind of level. That's better. Much better. Maximum. Oh, that can cure almost all ills. We know this man just rattles maximums in. That's what he does. Good leg by both. And throw it to Tiff. Tungsten by Taylor. I haven't said that too often. 99. He's still under pressure here, though, on throw, Wayne, isn't he? If Chisnell can uh, power in one of his trademark 140s or 180s, pressure on the power. 91. Good last start. 122. Treble 18. This is a nice finish. Another treble 18 or a single. Now the ball's high. It it's is a nice finish. Wilson. That will make him feel better. Well, that was a proper leg of darts. Brahma. Well, even in and amongst all the trials and tribulations for Phil Taylor, 55. the bookmakers were not prepared to offer any more than 4-1 to one against him winning the Premier League. Whereas before the play started tonight, he was 5-1 to one to be relegated, so bookmakers still believe he's more likely to win the entire tournament than he is 43. not to be back for week 10. Well, they don't often get it wrong. Sixty. Chizzy. Not getting very busy on the 60. Phil likes to be below it and build on it like that, whereas Dave is the other way around. Likes to go above the 60 and work downwards. It was at 180, but it's not at 140 yet. He'll hit one now. No, he won't. 99. So far, Chisholm has not been able to call on the spirit of December 2011 when he won that famous World Championship game 4 1 in sets against Phil Taylor. Turning up the power a little bit now. Oh, yes. Lead 42. 125. Maybe a 151. Still a good shot from Phil. 
60. Trouble 17. Trouble 14 now to lead. 91. Well, he's missed that. Lead 60. This is the finish that Gary Anderson took out to beat Phil last week. Will Phil get it himself? 57 for tops for a 3 1 lead. Double 10. Big visit, big dart. He's on the fourth leg. He was up to it. Got to have a certain amount of confidence and belief to do that. Well, there was some messing around on double 16 in the first leg when Phil Taylor missed four darts at double there, but since then he's hit three out of four since nailing that double 16. So the finishing has come back on song. He's now picking off the old cover shot. 138. Incidentally, he will need to win 7-2 or better to move above Dave Chisden on the league ladder. Such is the uh, the leg difference between the two, but any win would do tonight for Phil Taylor. 58. Yeah, well said. Scoring well. Okay, no 140s, like I mentioned, but plenty of 137s. 60. Not enough. Be disappointed with that. Crowd know they want to win. Bellowing, there's only one Phil Taylor. I've done that for a number of years now. Yeah, he's lost a lot of matches recently, but he's not lost any support, has he? From the darting faithful. 99. Darting faithful. They've remained that way. They'll always be there. Darting darling. Fizzy struggling. 90. Well, he hasn't been able to put Phil Taylor under pressure. I don't think there's too much doubt that Phil Taylor's confidence at the moment is brittle, Wayne. So, if he can get away with a lot tonight with no pressure put on him, he'll be a mighty relieved man. I just think that Dave at the moment is letting Phil do what he wants to do. Five already in this match. Three for Chizzy. Got to go high. Double three. Well, that is a mess. That second dart was poor. That was at least two inches away from where he was aiming. We've seen a lot of that. The ones that just haven't had the oomph. Weak darts. We've seen a lot of that over the last five or six weeks. And you mentioned the weight loss, Wayne. Let's see what happens here, though. For Chisdall, looking at double eight to win a crucial fifth leg of the match. Double four, big dart in the context of the game. And Chisdall's up to it. That Finishes. could be a big dart in the context of Phil first. Taylor's Premier League. Looking all for the world that he was going to go 4-1 up. Now, Chisnell has the darts. Not happy. Not happy at all. Chisnell has the darts to make it three apiece. I just feel that Dave is thrown within himself. There's not that rhythm that we normally see from Chizzy. He knows, as you quite rightly said, Rob, that this man is, is fragile, brittle. You've got to get stuck in. 137. Dave Chisnell. 60 hasn't won a game in the Premier League since week one when he defeated Robert Thornton. So he's four matches without a win. 140. Phil Taylor's first 140 of this contest. Averaging a ton. 140. Such an important leg. Let me see, just 27%, but from Phil Taylor's point of view, he's carving out chances. He's having more darts and doubles than is scoring better. 61. Can't go out. Phil Taylor will only need to hit one treble 19 with his first two darts to get a poke at the ball. Would be for a 12 dart 89. if he goes out here, Phil Taylor. He's already taken out a 1-2-2. For a 12 data. Another one of those. Yes. Double six. He loves double six. 
114. Not tonight. Well, we may see Chizzy here. He loves double 18. We may see him go treble 12. That way, you feel more confident. There you go. Hitting the double. It's got to go in. I'm not having that it's not going in. 36. What a chance here for Phil Taylor. He's earned it too. A dozen darts thrown. He's left a dozen. Double three, he missed this in the last leg. He went too high last time, now he's gone too low. Oh, he's, he's, picked he's picked it off. He's picked it off, he earned the chance and, and he no took it. Reverse. Jelly leg though. Insinuating that he wasn't comfortable. This is something that Phil Taylor would never have done. As you said, the old jelly legs, it, it, he's telling his opponent that he was nervous going for the finish. You, you can't, you shouldn't do that. 81. Insinuating he's nervous. It's not the way forward. 140. If he can run three straight legs here, Phil Taylor, he will move out of the trapdoor positions on leg difference. Needs to switch to some tune. 124. Not been a lot wrong with his scoring. It's just the finishing. Just looks a bit, a bit wobbly. Whereas Dave really 95. has been hit and miss. Switch again. Same result with the first two. 136. Brilliant cover shooting. They've got a switch. 96. Well, they're both so you're massive outs. 60 60 tops for Phil. You're looking to lead. Double 10 if you can. Brilliant. 140. They are 170. Oh, he's been left a couple of crumbs from Phil Taylor's table, and he's taking a ball. 145. What a fantastic effort. He's won 20. Oh, that just made this man's heart skip a beat. Work his way in. His darts lay this way. That's a good marker. They're not bad markers, believe me. There's no score. Taking it by 25. Oh, well. Well, it's all happening. 11 left. One dart, double four. He's on seven well, Phil Taylor will not be able to believe his luck, but the reality is he missed three at double ten. Okay, Chisnell. Made a complete cobbler's of the finish, but managed to nail double four. But in the end, it comes down to Taylor's missed starts at double ten. Wanted 24 to go 4-1 up, couldn't convert. Again, 100% right. The, the frailties, the... This is what happens when you let an opponent in. They, they become confident in the fact that... Not that they're going to hit what they're going for, but that you're going to keep missing. They change. Your opponents no longer fear what you're doing. You've made the point when there's nothing wrong with Phil Taylor's heavy scoring in this match. It's the flaky pastry finishing. 97. Indeed. Switch down. He's been lethal on the 57. Brutal. Brilliantly brutal. 96. 22%. Like I said earlier, he's thrown 18 darts at double, still carving out the chances. Well, some of the best strikers will tell you you've got to get there to miss them. Got to have the chances. You can't win a leg if you don't have a dart to double. I know that. <laughs> 100. He still leads 4-3, Phil Taylor, but Dave Chisnell's got half a dozen darts at 164 to level up at four each. The bull? 124. Oh, he wasn't tempted, he wasn't lured in. 
Chizzy seems to have settled down a bit. He seems to be throwing more consistently. Brilliant. I'm glad for a man with no confidence. Big visit. For four legs apiece, tops. Superb first dart. It just encouraged the second dart, didn't it? Every leg becoming more important than the last. Every shot becoming more important than the last. He led 3 1, Phil Taylor. He led 4 2. He scored heavily. His finishing has been ordinary. Throughout the Premier League, we think he's playing badly, but his tournament average is over 100. He had 104 one week against Simon Whitlock. It's, it's the finishing that becomes edgy, nervous. The, the tournament stats for scoring great, fine, but the, the finishing is, is 32 percent. He's never been that low, always loitering around 40 45. Phil Taylor, what that means is he's, he's missing probably two darts in every two or three legs more now than he's ever done. There we see, look at those stats, it's just not good enough. He's a dancer at a double in six of these legs. Eighty-three. The scoring has been sufficient to keep HMS Taylor afloat. Still it is. Still he'll be first to double in this round, barring something miraculous from Dave Chisnell. Really doesn't even keep him in touch because Phil will be on a double at least. You feel, or even out. Got to go right inside of the 60 and does. This wasn't his friend a while ago. 120. No dramas. Dave on two, three, eight. Yeah, you want to get the job done. Pronto on double 12, the winner, because he was Charlie chasing the double around the board last time. Double 12, double 6, double 3. He's got so much time this time. Well, he can put the kettle on, have a cup of tea here. Phil Taylor. Well, he hasn't hit it yet in four darts. Make that five. 18. Even though Chizzy's not on a not on a finish, that it's worrying. It's worrying for Phil. It will annoy him. Charlie chasing again, he's become Sir Charles Chase of Stoke. Well, Chisnell has been utterly abject in this leg. 46. Well, he's still not on a finish, he's done 18 darts. Will he go straight for double three here? He's had enough trouble on this one. Well, he could have gone two double two. Now what? Well, I bust it. Yeah, I think that's a good move for Phil to bust because he likes to build on the dart. So going double one, if if he was to go above, because he's, he's going to get a shot, he may even get two shots. The first or second dart cannot become a marker. 30. Well, this is one of the worst leagues you'll see from, from anyone in the Premier League. Since you stopped playing, Wayne. Right? It's in, double three. Long, long last. Well, the up team goes there. He was never in any bother in that leg, was he? But it was just so shambolic at the end. I'm still laughing at your flippant throwaway comment since you, Wayne. Thank you. Thanks for that. It's nice to live long in the memory. But after the previous leg where Chizzy couldn't even buy a 20, 140. He kicks off 140. Well, I think he just clocked off halfway through that leg, didn't he? But if he kept closer order, he might have got a stab. Yeah, that's why you should never give up on a leg. Even the greats like Phil Taylor can mess around on finishing. Well, at the end of that mishmash, the bottom line is that Phil Taylor leads Dave Chisnell 5 4. He's now one leg away from at least picking up a point, and if he can win two legs from the uh, remaining three, 
He'll have only his second win of the campaign. Crucial one also. 137. Another good cover shot. Dave doing the right thing. Not going below with the first dart. Has to go above or in to have any chance of it at the 60. There is nothing wrong with Phil Taylor scoring. It's purely around the board and around the doubles. Trouble 17. Oh, wrong side of the wire. Well, we saw him almost nail the big one, the 170. But he's missed here. Phil Taylor now potentially a couple of darts away from at least a point. 60 for 30. Now 20 or a treble. Double five. Well, he nearly busted it. In the UK Open, done that twice. Bust 130, didn't he? Busted 130, biting double 12. 20 for Tops for a level game. That only just squeezed in. Tops! Please this match is level. Well, I don't know what Evil. he was saying to himself, but I, I don't think he was pleased. Like I said, nothing wrong with his scoring. It's around the board. This has got to be a 180. Dave Chisholm's fifth. 180. Good shout. Even better shout if you're supporting Dave Chisnell to hear the call. Because now Chisnell's got a squeak of a breaker throw that would guarantee him at least a point. Only 58 behind here, Chisdall. Trying to use the first dart to it at 60. 100. Was unlucky there. This is a real pressure leg. Who will fault up? Who will be the one to blink? 97. Well, it might be Phil Taylor because his counting was way off. That is an error. That is not. That leaves 41 and Phil Taylor can't finish. The miscount. Well, had he left 167, he'd be looking at treble 19 ball. 134. Quite a big visit, this. Nine, thirty-two, double eight, twenty-five. Off the hook, the sixteen times world champion, double sixteen to earn at least a point. Only hit it once in the match of six attempts. He's hit it now, and Phil Taylor is reprieved and will pick up at least one point. Will it be two? He'll have to break the chisel throw. He seems over the moon, he's won a point. You, you could win two yet, Phil. 43. Could win two now. A serious game face is on. Scored superbly well. Was that the little bit of luck he needed? And by that, I mean the two missed darts from Dave Chisnell at double. Double 16. Bill Taylor had no control over that. He was in the lap of the gods. He got the break. He took the opportunity. Well, the chorus again is on one for Taylor. 93. Great last start. looking to leave a shot out 
should be going some kind of bullseye route here. He's done it again. Chisnell here has already hit six tonight. That is a magnificent seventh. Now the pressure. Another one of those will not hurt. 95 Phil. Could be going for any treble here. As good as any. For a draw. 14 leaves the ball. The bullseye for a point. 90. Well, Dave Chisholm missed this finish in the last leg. Can Taylor win with it? For Phil Taylor to double his points tally. Double 16. No dramas at all. Phil Taylor wins for the second time in this Premier League, beating Dave Chisnell by seven legs to five. Is this the start of the comeback for the King? Well, a huge draw went up. Phil Taylor getting his second win of this Premier League campaign. The fight for survival continues for the power, the power failure on the doubles. This is what we've seen in Nottingham. It's been a, a lively old night. Sun Willard being 7-3 by Peter Wright. Right, 100.72 average, 58% on the doubles. Adrian Lewis a 7-5 victory over Gary Anderson. Michael Van Gogh in fine form, 6-180 to 105.053 that average. Barney, six apiece with Robert Thornton. He'll feel he should have won that. And Phil Taylor, it's a win. It's two points. And it's a victory over Dave Chisholm. Phil Taylor, ninth position, Dave Chisholm in eighth. Top four at the moment, Peter Ryan, Michael Van Gogh Barney, and Adrian Lewis. He missed plenty of doubles, but that was the one that counted. Middle of the middle. Delight for Taylor, a roar from the crowd. And Phil Taylor doubles his point tally in this Premier League campaign. A win, Phil. Relief. Oh, yeah, yes, it's a relief, it's a double. That was what was going through my mind. Just, just, it's a double. And I thought Dave played quite well then, actually. The 180s came at the right time. And put me under a lot of pressure. I was nervous. I'll be honest with you, I'm very, very nervous. But I know, and or not, that my form is picking up now. The longer this sort of barren spell goes on, it puts more pressure on you, because you're really under the spotlight, aren't you? The pressure, yeah. We've been, I mean, Gary Plummer is sitting down there, and he's been... He's been experimenting with my darts for me and he's put me a lovely... He, he's been altering my grip a little bit each week until we've, we've got the right one and I think we've got the right one now. Because there's no problem with your scoring, your average is good. There was, there was the last few weeks. I was practising very, very well but not scoring so much up here. Now it's all coming together which I don't think it's much worry about the beginning of the year. I think towards the end of the year I'll be... Well, towards the middle I'll be, I'll be spot on I think. What practice are you doing? I mean, what's your regime like? You're what am I doing? Out? Yeah. About, I'm probably doing more practicing now than I've ever done in my career. Probably about three or four hours a day, but I'm enjoying it. Um, moved everything, maybe practice board in a room where there's no TV, there's no window, there's no distractions. Doing everything perfect, diet, exercise, you name it. Doing everything properly. And the crowd and are really respect, on your... really, for the game, you know? It's just, just for myself, it's... It's the players coming through, the, you know, their attitudes towards the game. They're very confident. And for me to stay wet on top, then I've got to try twice as hard as what Aidan or Michael would do. Unthinkable that you could be in danger of relegation, but that's the fight on your hands right now. Before definitely, you... definitely. I'm, I'm in a position I've never been in in my career. So I've got to come out. I've got to... I mean, I, I was chuffed a bit to see Carl Frog tonight. <laughs> I love Carl. So, I, you know, and I'm looking at Carl thinking... I've got to get the same mindset as that fella, you know? Go out there, do everything perfect. I mean, he's amazing shape now, and he's still got about five or six weeks to go, yeah, or 10 weeks or whatever. And that's the attitude you've got to have with any sport. I was, our game is a sport. People keep writing us off, trust me. It's very, very difficult, especially when you're not playing as well as what you can. Congratulations, Phil. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. A winner tonight, Phil the Power Taylor. Thank you, everybody. 
Phil Taylor got Wes Newton next week. It's destination.